Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs and today we're going to be going over the unboxing of the external fan um, that everybody uses for their Glowforge. Just got that in the mail finally um, and I, this is exactly how it came except I put some uh, duct tape over the shipping label with my information on there. So let's go ahead and get started. This is exactly how it came. It's kind of funny um, if you can see in here um, it says do not ship as is and use additional shipping box well they didn't do that they just shipped it in the this same box here so this is exactly how I ended up on my front porch so that's kind of funny but it looks like there's barely any like noticeable dents or anything maybe right here but that's nothing that just looks like the cardboard bubbled a little bit so let's go ahead and open this up really quick here and see what it looks like on the inside and it looks like it's in pretty good condition just from seeing it here I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out um, it looks like it comes with actual rings so that's handy that'll come in handy when I actually put the um, attachments on there I'm gonna do the attachments in another video but it looks like the control is in here with the rings here so I'll get to that in a second let me pull this fan out of here for you guys box out of the way here and then in the box it looks like there is some zip ties here too so um, we'll have to look into that if we're gonna actually need that or if we can just mount it with screws uh, we'll go through that here in the next video when I actually put it together but take this part here and see what the fan looks like see if there's any noticeable damage on it clear this stuff out of the way really quick all right so we've got the the fan here this is the six inch model um, I know some people went with the eight inch this is gonna be the six inch AC infinity fan looks like they just uh, crammed all the cords right inside here um, so we've got all the cords here I'm assuming this cord is gonna be plugging into the uh, fan connector here, the actual button. Um, and then we just have a rather long power cable too. So that should be able to reach pretty much anywhere that we need it to reach. Looks like everything is in good shape here. And it looks like we are gonna be able to mount it with some kind of screw mechanism. We're gonna look into that more with the next video. Just wanted to show you guys how it came shipped. Um, let's go ahead and open up this other packaging here. So this is straight out of the bag here. Like I said, this is going to be your on-off button here for the fan, it looks like. Um, you've got some manuals here, and then two of the actual hose connectors. going to connect right on here, just like that. So that'll uh, actually save some time because I forgot to do that. I was just going to tape it on there, but this will clamp those uh, reducers that we're going to put on there. It's going to be a 6 inch to 4 inch fan reducer that we're going to put on this. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually use any of this zip tie um, stuff here, uh, but we'll get into that in the next video to see if I have to do the, use any of this for the mounting on the opposite side. But I plan on drilling this right into the back end of the um, wooden table that I have the Glowforge Pro on. And then just venting it right out the window. So that's pretty much it. That's all that comes with the fan here. Um, so we'll, the next video, I'll go ahead and show me putting together the actual reducers. And um, cutting the hose in half and putting the hose in out the window there and seeing the difference between the sound of the Glowforge after we get this installed. Just wanted to get this video out there. I know it's been a little while since I posted a video. I've uh, been pretty busy for the holidays. So we'll catch you guys here next time. We'll see you in the next video.